trying to explain is, you know how the lingo is so different? Here we say, I times R, right? In, in Ireland, the, you guys say, I by R. B is equal to I by R. Here, I by R means I over R. Which is not true. So, let's, if you have, let's say if you were given current and resistance, you put these two numbers and you calculate your voltage. But what if you're given the value of current and all you're looking for is calculation of, or you're calculating, sorry, current and you were given voltage and resistance. So this triangle will come very handy. I'd like you to split it into three boxes, just like how I did. V on top, I and R on bottom. So if I'm looking for voltage, what am I gonna do? I'll put my hand on V, what do I see? I times R, which I wrote down right here. If I'm looking for I, I'm going to put my hand on I, what do I get? V over R. So I'm going to go ahead and write down V over R right here. If I'm looking for R, what do I get? I put my <coughs> hand on R, what do I get? V over I. So V is volts, R is ohms, and I is amps. What does that mean? They are the, just the unit. Just like age is calculated in years and sugar is calculated in grams, same thing. V is calculated or measured in volts, V for volts. Resistance is measured in ohms, if you want to write it down, and current is measured in amps. Volts is represented by a capital V, ohms is represented by a symbol called omega, and amps is represented by capital S, capital A for amps. So this is easy. Why don't we do one thing? I'm going to give you an electrical circuit. What I'd like you to tell me is the unknown. So draw the schematic. I'm going to name this as example one. Okay. I'll draw the schematic. I'm going to give you a resistance value of 20 ohms. The source voltage is 120. All I need you to find me is load current. You have 30 seconds. Let's go. How did you do, Herman? Uh, uh, is that V over I? So oh, sorry, I sorry, is equal uh, v to over R. V over R. What yeah. formula did you pick? One, two, or three? Two. Formula number two. Perfect. So I is equal to? V over R. V over R. What's your voltage given? Uh, 120. Voltage is 120. What's your resistance given? 20. So load current is V over R. Voltage is 120. Resistance is 20. What do I get? 6 amps. 6 amps. Perfect. So, now let's just take an example from just given value of voltage and resistance. If I ask you, Herman, again, what would happen if I double my voltage to 240? I'm going to use another marker. Let's use a black one that just clearly can and draw it. And I'm going to put, what if I change the value to 240 for my source voltage? What would happen to my load current and what would happen to my resistance? Double. What would happen? Sorry. Let's just name it as this is my V old. Let's just name V new being 240 volts. If my voltage is 240 and my resistance, do you think my new resistance will get double as well here? No. The 20 ohm will become 40 ohm? No. Why would it happen? Take the same light bulb, take it to India. The resistance will change? No. Only voltage will change. That will eventually change the current, which is brightness of that light bulb. Okay, so the resistance new and old will remain the same, which is 20 ohms. Once I have these values, I divide both numbers, voltage and resistance. What do I get for my new current? 20. 240 over 20, which will lead to? 20 ohms, which will lead to 12 amps. Good job. So what did we just learn? Go ahead and copy if you want to exam copy this example. Make it as example A, 1A. In example 1A, draw another circuit. Increase the voltage to 240, how I do it, and say what would happen to your current? Your current doubles as well. What that really means is when my voltage is doubling, my current doubles. 